Shades of Entrepreneurship, where we interview entrepreneurs to inspire the future entrepreneur. I'll be your host, Mr. Gabriel Flores. So grab a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. had many businesses in the healthcare space, including large medical marijuana practice in the estate of Florida, integrating cannabis treatment with insurance reimbursement. Now he is all in on a new project that was discovered by accident. Please welcome the executive director of Clarigen Z, Mick Amati. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Shades of Entrepreneurship. This is your host, Mr. Gabriel Flores. Today, I'm here with Mick. How are we doing? Great, Gabriel. All right, so we're going to be talking about Claritin Z G uh, shortly, but first, want to get a little background. Mick, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, so I've been in healthcare for over 30 years. I uh, practically done everything in healthcare uh, from uh, owning medical clinics to uh, owning a hospital, uh, outpatient imaging centers like MRI centers, laboratories, cancer centers. I've even started um, uh, some pharmacy benefit management companies. I've owned pharmacies. Um, and currently, I have um, uh, the, a fairly large clinic clinical practice in Florida. I cover the entire state. I have 43 clinic locations covering the whole state of Florida. And what what is your primary focus uh, in those locations, those clinic services? Um, primarily, we try to provide alternative treatment for people with mental health issues such as uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, anxiety, and ADHD. And uh, also, we help patients who are dealing with various kinds of pain, uh, providing alternative treatment methods um, for patients who have like cancer pain, back pain, neck pain, uh, fibromyalgia, you know, the whole range of um uh, pain issues, and oftentimes those p- same patients are obviously dealing with a lot of anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorders and depression. Um, so, and a fair number of them also have ADHD. Um, so, yeah, so it's uh, fairly varied, and uh, we have uh, pain management doctors in my practice, psychiatrists, and um, also um, uh, mental health counselors too. Nice. So, I got. It. Let's take a step back. How did we get from owning? How did we get to owning a hospital? (laughs) How did you get to that process? It was. It was a. It was essentially a community hospital that uh, they needed my expertise in uh, reimbursement. So I basically they didn't have money to pay me. So I ended up uh, taking an equity interest in the hospital. So um, that's kind of how it worked out then. (laughs) Nice. And then that progressed into other ventures. Yeah, yeah, I basically, uh, you know, you basically, uh, you, you never, uh, you, there are a lot of shiny objects when you're in anything, right? So the healthcare is no different. And uh, I started some accountable care organizations. My father um, started one of the largest eight, um, insurance companies actually in the United States. Uh, he's a cancer specialist. My father, father and brother are both radiation oncologists. And uh, my father started a company called Wellcare HMO. It's uh, one of the largest insurance companies in the United States. Nice. And so you kind of have that entrepreneurial gene already kind of embedded in you. Yeah. Own. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. <laughs> it's always, um, it's fun going through the process. It's uh, once you get to wherever you want to go, you got to move on and have a new, uh, 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 new uh, objective. Yep. So let's talk about the new business, Claritin Gen Z. Tell me what it yep. is and what, what does it do? So it's Claritin Gen Z. I kind of made it up, uh, Clarity for Generation Z and uh, older. Uh, so Clarity Gen Z is the actual name of the, of the brand. Um, we actually, we have, you know, thousands of patients that suffer from anxiety and uh, PTSD and uh, depression and ADHD. Uh, tens of thousands of patients, actually. Um, and uh, we really 
we're looking for a good alternative to the SSRIs and benzos that these patients have been on for years and uh, uh, getting them off of all the side effects that they're suffering from because of those uh, uh, drugs. Um, and we were looking for a compound that could fit that need that was not necessarily readily available because nothing that's all natural that's readily available does uh, what it's what we want it to do, like medications do. So we found a, a unique compound that was reportedly able to have some very unique benefits for people with anxiety. And we were able to, uh, send, I mean, basically uh, procure some of it um, and uh, have it extracted and pure, procure some of it. Some of it. And uh, we were able to test it on our patients, uh, patient volunteers, and we found that it had a dramatic effect on patients with anxiety. It really helped them greatly, um, as we thought it would. And But at higher doses, it really, for lack of better uh, comparison, it worked just like Adderall. It worked just like Adderall. It gave uh, patients within 30 to 45 minutes a very high degree of focus, clarity, motivation, um, and energy. And so we actually were able to, because we have a large practice, I was able to uh, test it out in about almost 2,500 of our patients. And we found that almost 90% of our patients were, were reported positive results, which is kind of amazing in itself in any kind of study, but obviously it was with, it, with our own patients. But um, we found that at higher doses, this compound worked just like Adderall and uh, did, you know, did some dramatic things for our patients, even with depression, um, patients with PTSD, obviously patients with ADHD were able to really focus on one task, be really energetic. And uh, as a result, we came up with uh, the idea that we need to kind of make this available to the rest of the world. And that's the reason for Clarigen Z. Now, why did you kind of primarily focus, you've mentioned, you know, individuals with like PTSD pretty uh, frequently. Why was it important to kind of focus on that kind of demographic? Well, I mean, it's a fairly large uh, subset of patients with mental health issues in the United States, you know. Um, we primarily focus on them as it relates to anxiety. Um, you know, anxiety was the primary motivator for, uh, I'm sorry, primary target uh, condition that we were trying to find a um, uh, alternative alternative solution for, and uh, obviously that's fairly um, anxiety at different levels are is fairly frequent across all the uh, disease states or the conditions that I just mentioned: ADHD, uh, PTSD, and depression. Yeah, and then how would you say you know you're kind of coming from? A operations round, right? Owning, right. owning brick and mortar to yeah. now producing, uh, you know, all natural uh, supplement. What's been difficult about pivoting into this new market? So um, in my 12 hour days, I still spend about 10 hour, 10 of my hours still on the uh, medical practice. Uh, so that's hasn't changed much. Um, about a year ago, I actually embarked on a journey to learn everything there is to learn about e-commerce e because obviously um, having a medical practice is totally different from selling things to the public, you know, or making the public aware of a product. So I actually researched it quite heavily and, um, and I found an organization that had like all the top people in the world that uh, were um, uh, focused on e-commerce. It was called Powerhouse, and uh, it actually uh, was a you know it's about uh, three thousand a month uh, to just become a member of it. And uh, it, they share information, they provide education, they provide support, they you know work as a camaraderie with everybody else to share information. And so I joined this organization and uh, for about six to seven months, I basically dove into everything e -com and learned everything about it and uh, got the help from several people. And uh, it was a great journey. 
Now, how did you fund this venture? Did you go through the venture capital route or did you kind of go angel investment and just continuing through build from what you have established? Yeah, I, it's just me and my family. That's those. That's uh, the, that's the uh, total of all the investors, really. Um, we've just basically re, um, reinvested our uh, profits into uh, this venture. And we put in a little over a million so far into it. So um, in the last six, seven months and stuff. So it's uh, it's been uh, fun. It's been fun learning about it and uh, making it grow, see something grow. Now, what would you say, have you noticed any similarities from owning brick and mortar, you know, operational clinics to now producing? Are there any similarities and what are some of the differences? Um, there's nothing really similar about it because, you know, in medical practice, you're having a one-on-one relationship with patients as they come into your facilities And um, obviously in e-commerce, you don't really meet any of your customers except for when they post reviews and you're really trying to uh, target an audience across the entire country that can benefit from your product and that the messaging resonates with them. So, you know, it's, it was um, in learning everything that I did about e-commerce and with what I do in the, in the, um, brick and mortar space i one thing that was common i guess the most common um thread between the two is that you really need to create a sound foundation or a sound um workflow and have that workflow be able to scale and that's what i did initially was you know putting together like the, the a team of the best people in each particular area, whether it be customer service, a customer service uh, organization, or a um, IT company, or a media agency, or graphic design, uh, whatever the case may be, I, you know, um, had to really put all the pieces together. And obviously, there's a substantial investment in the beginning, because you don't have much revenue coming in. And uh, over time, you know, that pays off when you scale, of course, because you want to be able to scale and know that you don't have, you don't want to have headaches in the background. That's very true. Up. Yeah. What would you say has been um, difficult about starting this new venture? The most difficult piece? Um, I guess, you know, the product that we have, uh, the raw ingredient is super expensive. And so, you know, people are used to paying, you know, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars for supplements. And when you have something that you're trying to call a supplement when it re- when in fact it kind of replaces uh, medication, uh, but you can only uh, compete in the supplement space, you're kind of um, at a little bit of a challenge, you know, uh, the raw ingredient, uh, bio citroid that makes up the Clarigen Z costs us about $53,000 a pound. Now compare that with any other supplement that you would find at, you know, GNC or the vitamin store, you're talking about maybe 50 to maybe $500 a kilo, you know? Um, so, uh, it's, you know, exponentially more expensive to make the raw ingredient here, but we want to be able to price it so that it's affordable, affordable for most people. And that's been, that's been really the biggest challenge. What would you say has been relatively easy about the transition? Um, has there been anything easy? It's rewarding. I mean, when you're able to get the feedback from people about how it's changed their life, they've never had anything else that worked that, you know, they've been on the search for something to be able to take that's as good as their medication, but with without the side effects um, and without the crash, without the jitters, all these things that they have side effects for insomnia as it relates to the most common uh, medication is Adderall that uh, a lot of patients are seek. Um, there's a, several millions of people across the country, especially college students, 
and it, it transitions into their adulthood, that they use the Adderall off-label or they get it from their friends or family or whatnot, and they use it for um, as a study aid uh, to stay up all day to uh, crush their uh, uh, work uh, projects or whatever they need to do at work. So we do have a lot of people abusing Adderall um, across the country and uh, to be able to have a lot of these people be able to have an alternative that provides them a lot of the same benefits that they're looking for, you know, focus, clarity, um, motivation, and the ability to have some a, a burst of energy to be able to last four or five hours and not have to rely on the crash of, say, even caffeine or energy drinks and the sugar associated with uh, some of those things um, is really rewarding. You know, one of the things you talked about being rewarded uh, and kind of working, you also talked about working with your family. How rewarding has working with your family been? You know, it's always great to be able to not only socialize with your family, but also to interact in, you know, during the work, day, work days with your family. And, uh, you know, it brings you closer together when you work with your family. I mean, you only have X number of hours in the day, right? Yep. You can spend it with strangers. You can spend it with your family too, you know? So if you can marry the two and uh, it doesn't cause any kind of uh, strains that some families deal with, um, they say, sometimes they say, never lend money to your family, never uh, what it could work with your family. But, you know, in, in our culture, maybe it's a little bit different than some other cultures, but, you know, we've uh, always worked together, you know, since I, you know, since I was in high school. Now, what, what some, one of those things that kind of, what are you constantly thinking about as you're scaling your business now that you need to get done, or maybe just one of those concerning things that kind of keeps you up at night? How we can, how can we better target the people that we need to target within the confines of uh, the restrictions of social media. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of restrictions on social media to be able to advertise to people directly that need it most, that have certain medical conditions. And, um, you know, social media also, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Google, um, uh, YouTube, especially those um, have uh, very tight restrictions on what you can say and how you can say it. So um, navigating through that is always a challenge, never knowing when, you know, they're going to say, oh, well, you know, this is this doesn't meet the guidelines. We're taking it down, you know. So that was a good part of our first three, four months, uh, because even though you're part of an e group with the best of the best, they a lot of them have never dealt with your particular product. I mean, none of them have dealt with your particular product. Um, so we kind of had to invent some new um, pathways that never existed before. And even the, the best of the best that were selling widgets, if you will, and making millions selling widgets, they, they're they scratching their heads on why something is happening with our product because they've never encountered those kind of limitations with social media. Yeah. In fact, you know, you mentioned, you know, uh, target marketing, right, and getting out to the right people. One, who is the right people for your brand? And then two, how do you market to them? So we started off really trying to reach out to younger people, college students, if you will, because we thought that, you know, they're the ones abusing the Adderall the most. But we realized very quickly that they didn't have the money to buy the medication. I mean, the uh, the supplements that we have, right, the Claritin Z, um, because the price point, you know, is right now at around three dollars a capsule. And, uh, you know, when you think of, say, taking a vitamin, you know, you take a vitamin and you say, well, it's cost me, say, 20 cents or 30 cents to take a vitamin pill, but you really don't feel anything from it. You know, how often do, do, does somebody take a vitamin, say, 30 minutes later, oh, my God, it, I feel amazing right now, you know? Um, so that just doesn't happen. So, you know, putting it in the class of, okay, if I take my Adderall and I take and I get a response, I mean, I feel a certain way in 30 minutes. Um, and it costs me, say, 5 or $10 to buy this pill from somebody else versus a prescription, would $3 be more cost effective for me, you know? So that's part of the equation there with college students. So 
college students didn't really have the money to buy quantity, mm -hmm. you know, buying a few pills in here and there doesn't support a business, you know. So then we moved over to uh, people that were, uh, you know, professionals. And so the professionals, you know, buy things when they need it and they use it uh, very well. They don't use it on a habitual level. Uh, but people such as working moms and people with medical conditions such as ADHD would need something on a daily basis and would uh, benefit and feel value in being able to get, say, a 30-day supply of something, right? So we we started targeting that particular uh, subset uh, in the last, uh, say, 60 days. And, um, and we've... Uh, started using influencers in those areas, um, people who first and foremost try the product and love the product and then uh, work with them on their journey of how it's changing their life uh, on social media. Nice. And and so how do, what, you mentioned kind of like some of the restrictions you have on social media. What are those, some of those restrictions? Well, you know, essentially supplements, um, are not allowed to be sold on or ad advertised on social media technically. And so um, for that reason, you have to dance around some of the ways that you position the advertising and the creative in order to get around their restrictions and their algorithms. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Now, now you've been doing this for several years. What advice would you give an entrepreneur? Well, you know, I've been doing healthcare for for several decades. Um, the e-commerce space is something new um, that I just dove into because of the Clara Gen Z um, endeavor. Um, as far as as far as the uh, medical practice, I mean, you got to do what you love. I mean, and the money will come obviously after, right? You've heard that millions of times. You really have to do what you're passionate about. And uh, if if you're able to help people, and uh, you know, you, with your passion and uh, able to make money with it, then you're able to scale it. Then you have a winning formula. Yes, very true. Now, what if if the folks at home are interested to learn more about you, or more interested to learn about, about your uh, supplement? Where can they find you online? Where can you find this information on the website? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, we have a, a very unique um, go-to-market strategy. We actually allow everybody to buy, get a free sample. And that way you can try it first. And if you like it, you can buy more. If, you don't, if it doesn't work for you the way you expect it to work, then you don't have to buy anymore. <laughs> so we keep it really simple. Yeah. This way, everybody can try a free sample. The free sample is just two capsules. That's all it takes. We have a one-hour guarantee. If it, you, if it doesn't work within one hour, then you can even email us back and we'll even return, refund the $4.99 shipping and handling that we ask you to pay for the free sample. And so the, um, the uh, uh, Clarigen Z free sample website is trysmartpill.com, T-R-Y-S-M-A-R-T-P-I-L-L.com. Perfect. And I'll, I'll get this information also on the website as well. Now, what can individuals uh, expect to kind of feel? What sensations might they feel or any possible side effects that might they feel once they do take this pill? What's great is so far we haven't had any reported side effects among tens of thousands of patients. I mean, sorry, customers uh, so far. And um, and uh, as far as the uh, the feeling, about 30 to 45 minutes, you start feeling um, usually we ask pay, um, customers to take it before they're about to engage in any kind of tasks or if they have a you know long to-do list, take it and then start thinking they can start they'll start feeling motivated. What happens is the this particular compound it passes through the blood brain barrier, which very few supplements can do, and it goes directly into your prefrontal cortex of your brain and it triggers a, an immediate cascade of and you've heard of how much dopamine is uh, um, uh, is your is your reward hormone, right? And it's really your motivator. So it uh, triggers a cascade of uh, dopamine, norepinephrine, which gives you energy. It's converted into adrenaline, epinephrine, 
and acetylcholine and serotonin. So those five intelligence hormones are what it actually secretes. And you get an immediate um, impulse to start getting jumping on things, getting things done. Uh, you don't know why you're just getting things done. I've had, you know, people just say, I cleaned out my entire house. I cleaned out my car, you know, got all my to-do list done and I still had plenty of energy to make dinner, you know? So um, it's, uh, it really just creeps up on you and it doesn't give you a high like Adderall and uh, other, like uh, an energy drink does. It basically kicks in and makes you get, um, makes you do what you need to do. And as you mentioned, this is a supplement, so it's all natural, correct? Yes. So I didn't even mention, I should have mentioned first and foremost that the, the compound is actually derived from a special strain of orange fruit, blood orange from Southeast Asia. So it's actually extracted from the outer skin of this orange. Interesting. So that's how natural it is. Wow. So it's a terpene that's extracted from, uh, from the outer skin of a blood red orange from Southeast Asia. Interesting. Interesting. So again, folks, if you are interested, uh, Mick, thank you first and foremost. Thank you so much. Uh, Claire Gen Z, I will have the information on the newsletter. Again, if you're interested, please subscribe to the newsletter at the shades of E.com. You can also follow me on all of the social sites at the shades of E. Mick, where can they find you if they're interested in connecting with you, maybe learning more about you? Um, I'm on LinkedIn, Mick, uh, Mickey Mandy, M I C K. Emandi, E-M-A-N-D-I. Perfect. Mick, thank you again so much for taking the time to be on the show. Very interested. Might, but might actually get some myself to test it out because I feel like everybody, uh, especially this day and age, um, one myself with a, with having a kid, uh, energy seems to, uh, oh, energy seems to slack sometimes. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, it is. It is. I've had, I, I have two girls of my own. They're teenagers now, but I know exactly what you mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Mick, thank you again so much. And again, for those listening, please follow me at The Shades of E or visit the website to subscribe to the newsletter at theshadesofe.com. Thank you and have a great night. Thank you for tuning in to The Shades of Entrepreneurship. For more information, please follow The Shades of E on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or visit theshadesofe.com.